All right, today doing one on the uh, DNA. Actually, it's called a RDX 75. And as you can see there, novice 20 meter CW transmitter. And all that is is a uh, later version when the FCC cracked down in the late 70s, early 80s when you know the CB boom was going and everybody was you know running linears and messing up TVs the FCC uh, tried to crack down hard on any amplifier that was made or would work on the um, uh, 11 meter band so they tried to um, actually they did they banned amplifiers that would you know work on 10 or 11 meters and you know even people like Heathkit you know they modified the SB220 into the 221 and it came through 15 through 80 meters and there's some others uh, Maritron and others that you know they uh, didn't come from the factory with 10 meters in them you know per the FCC so what DNA um, and some others like Black Hat you know Black Hat so they smaller amplifiers as receive amplifiers and uh, they came with warning not instructions but a warning like don't move wire a over to you know uh, terminal c and don't cut wire b because this would convert this receive amplifier into an illegal you know 25 through 30 megahertz which happened to be you know the cb van a uh, illegal uh, linear amplifier but uh what dna did is they either added a uh, pre driver tube not a driver tube but a pre driver tube and they added a one crystal socket like you see there for crystal and they would run you know one crystal uh, oscillator into the pre driver and the pre driver would run into the uh, the, the driver tubes or the, the driver tubes of the amplifier and they would market it as a transmitter and since this is single band they put a couple extra turns on the uh, coil which I'll show a little later and they marketed it and sold this as a 20 meter CW transmitter to get past the FCC again you couldn't sell a uh, legally sell a 10 meter amplifier um, so they uh, converted it and called it a 20 meter transmitter not an amplifier uh, to try to get around the FCC um, the CB bo uh, boom went bust anyway and uh, whether the FCC busted or not with the CB bust you know people weren't buying CBs and amps anymore so pretty much all the all the uh, CB uh, businesses and amplifier makers went out of business anyway um, but this is one of the um, um, I would say not older but middle of the range um, DNA Raiders and the reason I think it's middle of the range is because it's actually got a uh, band selector switch on it um, the original older ones were single band you know they had uh, 10 you know meters on them only and they would work you know from 10 to 15 meters including the CB band and they didn't have a band selector because they were 10 meters only but the FCC started cracking down on them you know uh, 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 27 megahertz amplifier so DNA added this um, band switch and some um, hand band coils in there and you know this one supposedly had 10 through 40 meters in it um, I've heard you know the rumors and the stories that DNA amplifiers and Palomar amplifiers would not even load up on um, 20 and 40 meters even though it's got you know extra coils and stuff in there it just wasn't right it wouldn't load up correctly on them anyway but again that was just to get past the FCC so this is a little bit um, older one actually the latest two were um, they went from that uh, gray to the tan with the brown on the uh, latest ones before they went out of business so this all was um, you know to get past the FCC where this is an older you know four tube DNA Raider here 
and the original one older than this one just did not have the band switch on it um, so anyway let me take the cover off this thing I wanted to show it with the cover first and let me set the uh, camera down and it's unplugged and take the cover off this thing hopefully I don't mess up no settings or anything all right that wasn't too hard this cover slides off and let's look into the top of these things um, okay this is the older one and just uh, four final tubes the smaller tubes with no plate on the top and that um, like I say this is an older one so it uses that small tube as a keying tube just keys up the uh, keying circuit that's its only purpose not a driver tube now on this one that they converted to the transmitter you know it's the same layout with the four tubes but they added this extra hole and that socket originally contained the um, pre driver tube that went to that oscillator socket so that they could market this thing as a uh, transmitter even though it really wouldn't work as a transmitter it would really suck but um, you know again to get around the FCC so you know other than that extra tube and this one's got the um, uh, transistor key in circuit and this one got the tube key in circuit you can basically see it's the same amp and we're gonna turn it around upside down and we're gonna go under the dress as we say under the skirt and let's do this one too and one thing I wanted to show is this original one you know but the band thing has been taken out I think I've said in some earlier videos most uh, CB amps for the output you need approximately you know it's not exact science but you need approximately four good turns of coil on the output or the tank circuit and you know that's what this has is just the four turns of coil over here for this DNA Raider so let's go over here to this um, transmitter RDX 75 and from the factory it would come with uh, six turns of coil as you can see here or seven well six well one two three four five six seven eight well eight coils of I counted one too many but seven but anyway I had a manual on it but I'm not gonna dig it up uh, DNA had a little pamphlet like to convert this to a 10 meter you know amplifier by qualified you know ham technicians or whatever only um, solder across two of the, uh, the coils so you're bypassing two of the coils so you're basically converting that um, Lot longer turn coil into this basically is what you're doing and that was the way to convert it and you moved a couple wires you know for the relay that went to the um, to the um, pre-driver tube and you bypassed that and you basically converted it over to you know what a ra Raider came with so that's the inside of this one um, basic you know tune uses a small trimmer for the lo load you know a couple turns of the um, tank coil been bypassed per factory to convert this from 20 meters you know transmitter to the um, 10 meters and a couple things have been uh, changed over to make it into a uh, 10 meter amplifier and that there see if I can zoom in a little better that there is the uh, transistor key in circuit you know well this one had a uh, tube key in circuit so you don't see anything uh, basically on that terminal strip so a little bit different but basically the same amp so that's the insides of the transmitter RDX 75 and that's the insides of the uh, original Raider that used to have the ham bands in it so anyway we're gonna get that out the way and turn this guy back over do 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 and hope we didn't detune too much so I always have a hard time trying to tune up and key down with the mic in one hand and the camera in the other I'm not as young as I used to be so we're gonna plug her in 
and she's warming up oh also while she's warming up um, these amps uses six kv6 and family uh, tubes that look like that and those tubes are getting harder and harder to get but I had a bunch of uh, new 17 kv6 and that's basically a 6 kv6 with the um, um, 6 volt filament but the 17 kv6 is uses a 17 volt filament so what I did is um, these transformer has a 12 volt AC filament transformer and I rectified it with the bridge and I used the uh, rectified DC so I'm filling these um, or running these um, 17 volt tubes because I got a bunch of them and you know I got them a lot cheaper than the 6 kv 6s so I got the new tubes in it and uh, I ran it off the 12 volt rectified so it's running about uh, 16 volts on the filament of these 17 volt tubes and that's intolerance so you know it run like that fine um, so I like that I didn't have to add a filament transform or anything like that so anyway it should be warm put it on standby uh, got my mud duck radio going to the amp to the watt meter and up to my uh, big dummy load up top um, so on standby this is what the radio doing let's go 20 watt scale hey I'm doing a whole 5 watts audio whistling about 9 and talking about 6 not a whole lot of swing with this uh, 5 watt radio here and um, so we're gonna go to the 200 watt scale and turn the amp on and hopefully we ain't knocked too much out of line and not blowing anything up and I guess we're ready to key it down so 200 watt scale we're dead keying 70 you know 5 watts in audio audio we're only talking about uh, audio 80 blowing about 95 and whistling about 120 and that's on average and that's what she does probably do a little more if I put a big bag tram behind it with some more swing and more audio and we're on peak last audio 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 talking about 180 or so peak I'm listening to about the same thing hello 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 and that's about all they do um, you know a Raider you know uh, good 7500 bird watts and uh, close to hitting 200 peak and actually it'll do a little more if I pushed it a little harder instead of that uh, you know mud duck radio behind it but uh, that's about it for this um, latest version of the uh, DNA Raider the um, DNA RDX-75 you know to get away from the FCC and they did this with some other amps too the um, Maverick 250 became the MDX-200 uh, and the Phantom 500 became the PDX-400 and they might have done more but those I know uh, they did for a fact and they went to this tan color all again to get around the big bad FCC from back in the day Alright, that's it for this one. Bye.